find the length of the hydraulic cylinder and the angle it makes to the vertical. The first thing we want to notice is that OBD is not a right triangle. So we are going to add points to our diagram as necessary to make some right triangles. The first one we're going to add is A. And the second one we're going to add over here is C. So now we have A, B, C, and D. Two of our triangles, number one and number three, are right triangles. <coughs> this one number two is not. Focusing first on number one, we have 85 from O to A and 25 from A to B. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length OB. OB is equal to the square root of 85 squared plus 25 squared, which is 88.600 millimeters. We also need some angles. Let's call this angle at O alpha. And now we can use the tangent function. Tangent of alpha is opposite over adjacent, 25 over 85. Solve this using arctan and you get alpha is 16.390 degrees. Now let's move on to triangle number three, ODC. Again, we can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find OD. OD is the square root of the two legs, which are 225 squared and 25 squared, which is 226.38 millimeters. Let's call this angle beta. And the tangent of beta is 25 over 225. Again, use an arctan and show that beta is 6.3402 degrees. That comes in handy when we want to find the third angle, gamma. This is the actual angle between OB and OD. In our right triangle at O, we have alpha, beta, and gamma. So. If this is the alpha we just found was 16.390 degrees, and this is the beta we just found, 6.3402 degrees, then gamma is 90 minus alpha minus beta, 67.270 degrees. Now we have two sides and an angle between them. We found OB was 88.600 and OD was 226.38. The angle between them was 67.270. That's your law of cosines. Specifically, BD, which is one of the things we're looking for, is the square root of OB squared plus OD squared minus 2 times OB times OD times the cosine of the angle between them, which in this case is gamma. Plug all of those two things in and you get BD is 208.81 millimeters. That's the length we were looking for. That's the length of the hydraulic cylinder. We also were asked to find the angle that the hydraulic cylinder makes to the vertical. When you start looking for angles, you start looking for the law of sines. The sine of an angle over its opposite side is the same in all of the edges of the triangle. So if we write this as BD over sine of gamma, that's the opposite angle has to be the same as either of the other ones over their angles. We happen to know gamma. Uh, delta, rather. So what we're looking for here is this angle, delta. That will give us the angle to the vertical. OD is 226.38 over sine of the angle we're looking for. And that was equal to 208.81 over the sine of the angle we already found, 67.270. 
you solve that using arc sine, you can show that delta is 89.690 degrees. Now our fifth step is answer the question that you were asked. This is not the angle to the vertical. This is the entire angle at B. So draw some more pictures. If you consider that this was angle alpha between OA and B, then this must also be alpha. And we just found that this entire angle was delta. So the angle that we're looking for in here, theta for example, or the starred angle, has to be equal to delta minus alpha. 73.301 degrees. So if we round now, finally, to three significant digits, the length of the hydraulic cylinder was 209 millimeters, and the angle of the hydraulic cylinder to the vertical was 73.3 degrees.